We thank God for keeping us day by day. And we and now we have come to a Passover day, a day of hope that those that we lost one day, they will rise again. And that's the meaning of resurrection. That our people, one day, will, raise again, will be raised again. Amen. Amen. To all the visitors who came, thank you. May God bless you. May God bless you. Our theme for this evening is we preach Christ crucified. We preached Christ crucified. And that's who we are preaching. And this evening, we will preach Christ crucified. If you hear, you understand these two words, they, are, they contradict each other. Messiah, the Messiah is the anointed. And the Bible says, no one shall touch my anointed one. You cannot touch the anointed and survive. And this was the message from Paul to the Corinthians. We preach the Messiah, the crucified. Kubayuda. To the Jews, Messiah was a person coming from the heavens and everything shakes. And that's why it was hard for them to understand who was Jesus. In their, in their concept, in that concept, the day when Messiah was coming, the sun was supposed to chain turn to blood an earthquake start the heavens be shaken and the lightning comes and a Christ the Messiah will come through that fire image, so the image that they had on Mount Sinai when God called Moses to speak to him when Moses entered through the cloud in the mountain and the cl cloud covered him thunders came first and then fire and everybody was scared to fire. and God warned them to touch on the mountain he told them not to, go, to get there even their flocks could not go there do not dare. So in the image of the Jews, not the same Messiah they were expecting. He will come with thunders in the clouds. Even Paul thought so. The day he met with him on the mask of Lord, he said, who are you my Lord? Because he appeared to him in the fire flame. Like a midday sun. Say, so who are you, my Lord? Yes, I'm and Jesus answered, I am Yeshua. Yeshua is Jesus whom they say. So among the things that shocked Paul, is unbelievable. Wow, Yesu. And shocked knowing that the same Jesus that he knew is the Messiah. He even got to the point of telling the Jews, if you don't understand, I'm at the point of dying for you in order to understand what Messiah is. He had studied. He, he got to a point of fighting or persecuting those who declare that this is the Messiah. In theology of Paul, all that he studied is based on Jesus. He never said anything else. All about Jesus. The same theory, theology of Peter and John 
Aba temwe, pardon. Aba Branham. The Branham. 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 Niho bashize wishingiro ginyikisho zawo. That's the foundation of their teaching. Ariko muzo kuri. By in truth. Na gace gato gusa. It's just a small portion. Iyo tubatiza. When we baptize, we say we are baptizing the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But the Branham, they baptize the name of Jesus. But why do they baptize Jesus? They say because it is written in the New Testament, and that's what they believe. But who is in Trinity? Are those who baptize in Trinity or in what name of Jesus? It's very simple. It's simple. To the Jews, when they speak God, it was normal to them. When, when they to the Jews, they were familiar and believed in God and the Holy Spirit, but in order for them to know that they're truly a Christian, they have to be baptized in the name of Jesus on top of God and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Kumuvatiza <laughs> Nagato, njendi Yesu, kama bwira ngo ndiwe. Na na bavuni miti. Na mamuje mu mva bayuda. Babonye Yesu avuka. Bazi wawo. Kandi ndi bari bazi ya fere yari hagati ya Maria na Yosefu kuko byaribanga. Kuvuga ngo uri ya musori wi Nazareti, ababwire ngo ndi ndi Masiya. Byari bigoye cyane. Mu buryo nitororo rya mbere kugira ngo bakwe we umuyuda ko yeme yaza mu itorero rya ba Petero kondisi yari imwe turakubatiza mu izina rya Yesu afete na branamu ya shingi doctrine hariko siyo doctrine yaraba yuda to the Gentiles it was simple to baptize them in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit but to the Jew it was very hard in order to be baptized, they have to confess that they are being baptized in the name of Jesus. They had to emphasize the name of Jesus. But you have to understand the Jews because they knew where Jesus came from, how he grew up. So imagine telling you that today, I who, who came from Bijobo, I'm God. Of course, he will stone me. Yet I am God. The boar. <laughs> yeah, first of all, Yakuriahanu. The place where he grew up from, where the parents came from, there is no there is no good record. There is no good image of it. The only person who, who came from the same place and the Jews did not believe him either is Jonah. Jonah is the only prophet who came from Galilee at the Nazareth from where he was. Even when the priests saw it, they said, Look, if there's anything good that came from there, even Jonah was not included. Yet he had done so much, but nothing had been recorded. He has even be, he had even been expelled because he preached the Gentiles. And that's why Jesus said, "A son of man is like a Jonah." Jonah spent three days there, and he did as well. So he is from the place. 
For three nights, three days, Jonah was in the belly of the well. So Jesus spent the three days as well. The, he was stepping to the footstep of Jonah. They all came from Nazareth. At least he could have stayed in Bethlehem. That at least. But when they returned from Egypt, the angel appeared to them and said, Herod is dead, now go back to Nazareth. He will be called a Nazareth, Nazarene, as he was said by the prophets. Jesus grew up in the mountains of Nazareth. He was well known until he reached age 30. He came from Judah, his home to his forefather, father, and he went down to be baptized by John at the baptism. When, when he came out, he, the Spirit, he went back to Nazareth on the Sabbath day as today he came in the temple they know him they know him were barefoot or with, with shoes they know him just a tender child he read the book of Isaiah which was, wasn't king great the chapter 53 and 61 it wasn't being read it was they were keeping it for the time of Messiah they read other scriptures but when it came to Isaiah mostly 61 Mm -mm. they could not touch it was mystery. And also 53. It was a confusion to the Jews. This man being spoken. That he was crucified. He was crucified by the transgressor. And he died praying for them. He was beaten by God. Who is this man? But they said this is a mystery. They won't read it. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was a mystery. And chapter 61, it's a time of Messiah. Let's open Isaiah 61. They opened. 61. They read. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. And that's why he anointed me to proclaim the gospel. Heal to the broken hearted, the blind, those in the captive, those who are broken hearted, and also declare the judgment day to speak to the Zion who are mourning that they hope that are coming they all looked at each other. Those who were around there. But it wasn't an issue at the time. Then he said, this word is fulfilled. It is fulfilled today. He said, what is he saying? It's fulfilled. He said again, it was talking about me. What? What? The men who were there, they could not wait until he's done. They came on the pope. They got hold of him. Say, you, aren't you a son of Joseph? Mary, isn't this your son? Aren't these your brothers? Aren't those your sisters? What did you say? The whole village agreed we need to kill him. And the death he's going to be killed. It is not one of the days where the Jews will be killed. Who, who will be killed. It was a death of pushing him on a cliff. By the time he lay to be uh, uh, all born uh, on the mountain, on the hill of being thrown up, down. Eh. 
So they bind him. No one could say, please let him go. Because they were all offended. Except his mother. Who knew the truth. But she could not speak the truth that she knew. Nothing is so painful like hiding the truth that you can't speak out. The mother saw it. And Joseph said, you have to keep quiet. They took Jesus. When they took him on that mountain, they wanted to see, they got distracted finding a place where they would push him on the cliff. As, <laughs> As they were discussing of how they will kill him, he snuck out and ran out, ran away. Yes. Jesus. He knew all the shortcuts because that's where he grew. He knew the shortcuts Look, in the in That's where he got the timber of his father. Even on that mountain, there is all the trees there. On that mountain he snuck out and from that day he left Nazareth he never came back he went to Galilee of the Gentiles and this was prophesied by Isaiah chapter 9 and those who lived in the valley in the land of darkness of Naphtali and Zebulon by the shore of the sea the light has come and he went to Capernaum near the waters and that's where his ministry was established to the Gentiles he came from home and the man I'm speaking who offended his brethren he became the main message of Paul I speak to you I preach to the crucified I preach Christ crucified this was a new theology to them can Christ be crucified Christ, uh, Christ can crucify but he cannot be crucified even for Paul to believe this he had to be attacked in the middle of the day yes, Jesus appeared to him yes <laughs> Amen. 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 Christ. Hallelujah. We are preaching Christ crucified. And Paul studied and when he was done. He still had pain in him. Seeing there are Jews. Who were following a sect of Nazareth? Nazarene. 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 A sect of Nazarene. How? How? The time of Jesus, even after he, he left, they will refer to the disciples, not Christians, but they will say the sect of the Nazarene, a group of the Nazarene. And when Paul graduated from theology, he says, such problems, you don't have to debate. You kill. You cannot debate with such people. Just kill them. Say what? 
I know how to do it. Just help me. Give me letters. Just in one year. If you ever hear such name in this land, judge me so. Judge me so the name of in Hebrew. God is my witness. If I don't rescue the church, blame me so. And that's how it's supposed to be. Because he had said, if you kill the people in Jerusalem, it's so simple. Because we have them. But I will, I will start from the out, outside where the name was spread much more, then I will enter into the city. Because if you start here, those who are far from here, they will, they will flee the name will be spread even further. He didn't have his vision to kill those who were around. And that's why when Jesus revealed to him, he did not see his mission as being that close, but he was all nations. And that's why God had prepared him for it. But Satan came first. But Satan came first. If you see someone has gone so far into sin, their calling was meant to be so far into The greatest evangelists are those who are laying on the street in drugs. Those that you see, those that you see on side of the roads, they were supposed and they were meant to be great evangelists. And after Paul was given the authorization, the first practice was done on Stephen. Stephen. He, he said, I won't do the action of killing, just give me all your clothes and I'll hold them as I'm watching you. He, he held their clothes and chilled out of what they were doing. They murdered Stephen. And he was very excited. And he said, okay. Now I have seen how you do it. I'm ready to go my turn. All of you leave me alone. They gave him the keys. And he get on horse. And those who will go with him. I'm starting in Syria. Not in Israel. On the road of Damascus. Listen, in the road of Damascus, the road of, to Damascus, where they buried Jesus, that's where the road to Damascus starts. He was so wrong and he took the wrong way. And that's why he, hey, hallelujah! That I preach Christ crucified because I know where everything started. It's on the road to Damascus. Amen. Amen. I know where all began. Amen. And he told the people, we preach Christ crucified. The word of Paul. It was of the cross. And it's based in Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 22 to 23. Deuteronomy 21, 22 to 23. If a man has committed a sin deserving of death and he's put to death and you hang him on a tree, Ahub. 
tuzareke kumuhamba uwo munsi kuko umanitswe kugiti ari kivume kuma His body shall not remain overnight on the tree but you shall surely bury him that day so that you do not defile the land which the Lord your God is giving to you Nuko umuhambire kugira ngo utanduze igihugu uwiteke imana yawe guha ho gakona you do, so you do not defy the land which the Lord your God is giving to you as an inheritance for he is hanged he who is hanged is a curse of God this word it was, it was, it was the center of Paul's gospel in here in Deuteronomy chapter 21 even Peter used it, that he was hanged on tree it was the same scripture. He, he did not read. Peter, uh, Peter saw it. Paul heard it. And he went to do the research. If you take a man. And he, and he has committed a deserving of sin. And he has committed a deserving of sin. And that it's necessary that he be put to death on the tree. Be careful that his body do not spend overnight on that tree. But bury him on the same day. Why? The man who's hung is a curse of God. And the reason why you should take him out of the if he spend a day on the tree, your land will be defiled because the man is cursed. In your home, in your field, in your life, in your lifestyle. You have to do it very fast. After his death, take him and bury him. Bury him. Bury him fast. And that's why Jesus was taken off the tree. Because Jesus was considered as a curse of God. He looked as if he was stricken by God. As if he was rejected by God. As if the hand of God was heavy on him. He's a cursed. Take him off quickly and bury him so he do not defile the land. So when you, when you speak to a Jew to believe in Jesus, it is impossible for them to believe to a man who was cursed and hanged. A Jew will tell you, your Gentile Jesus, he was hanged on a tree and he's a curse but we are waiting for the Messiah to come from heaven they cannot understand this. in their law if a man sins deserving of death and to be hung on a tree do it because before God is a curse and take him fast so that you do not defy your land these are the laws and God has given it so how can you turn to the same person believe the dead man by hand it contradicts and that's what Paul says the gospel that I speak to my people is to convince them of the ah. Christ who crucified let's go there are four methods of execution in among Jews in ancient and those are the things they will do these four methods the first method is, stone, is by stoning stoning 
Deuteronomy 13:6 in my English version. Ngo mwene nyoko cyangwa umuhungu wawe, cyangwa umukobwa wawe, cyangwa umugore useguye, cyangwa inshuti yawe yamagara. Nakosha rwihishwa akakubwira ngo yewe tugende tujye gukorera izindi imana utigeze kumenya na basekuruza abanye batigeze kumenya ku murongo wa 11 uzamwicishiriza amabuye kuko yagerageje kugushuka shuka ngo agukure ku witeka imana yawe yagukuye mu gihe cy'u Egiputa mu nzu y'uburetwa umuntu ushaka wese kugukura ku mana ukubwira ngo ibyo imana bivemo bireke tujye hari iki uyu ngo w'imbere y'imana mu mategeko agomba kwicishwa amabuye if your brother the son of your mother your son or your daughter, the wife of your bosom, or your friend who is as your own soul secretly entices you saying, let us go and serve other gods which you have not known, neither you or your father, and you shall stone him with stones until he dies because he sought to entice you away from the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Imana Israel. God of Israel. He brought you from Egypt. If anyone takes you from God whom you know, and somebody entices you to go back to the sin, someone takes you and takes you back to sin. Based on the law, that person must be stoned to death. Because God grieves. He brought you from Egypt. From sin. From the power of hell. Now somebody else comes and takes you back. When you go before congregation. And say men. This man has told me. To leave my God and go to. Sorcerers. Let the congregation say amen. And everybody bring stones. And that was the law. That's the first method of, of killing. This such day isn't the same method was used against Jesus. Jesus. He was not stoned. That's right. But what they did, they killed him. And this person must be killed. Is anyone that Jesus took away from them? According to the law, just was done to him. Because in their law, there was no Jew whom he told to go worship other gods. Based on what Jesus would tell them was a word that they are familiar. Love, there was only one God and love him with all your mind, all your strength and everything. So when they kill him, that was injustice. That's the first injustice done to him. And the second method and the way they would kill them it was by burning them. If you are not stoned you will be burned. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13 to 14 Ngumugabona atinga undi nikuwa ngumugabona aryama na nundi choni kinyarwanda utinga na batinga ye umugabona atinga undi undi mugabo bombi bazaba bakoze ikizira ntibakabure kwicwa urubanza rw'amaraso ye ni we ruzahama umuntu narongora umukobwa akamurongorana na nyina kizaba ari cyaha gikomeye azatwikanwe nabo kugira ngo icyaha gikomeye kitaba murimo nikuwa ngo ukazana umugore ufite umwana wa mudamu zanye mukaryamana nabo ukongera ugafata umwana we mukaryamana abo bagomba gutwikwa boss if a man lies with a male as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man marries a woman and her mother, 
It is a wickedness. They shall be burned with fire, both he and they, that they are, there may be no wickedness among you. In the whole chapter, it talks about if you sleep with an animal, you shall be burned as well. The, the sin to be burned, killing you by burning you, it will be done if a man sleeps with another man, if this would be applied in America, it would be catastrophic. <laughs> Smokes everywhere. And also, you marry, you marry a woman who has a daughter, and then you sleep with both of them, the mother and the daughter. And if the neighbors know about this, they will blow a trumpet. All men will come. They will set a burn, uh, uh, fire. And you, the man, the woman who allowed it, and the daughter who allowed it, all of them will be burned outside in public. Let me ask you. You have never heard that Jesus slept with another man. Or he married a woman and slept with her daughter. But yet he was killed. And this was a second justice. He was done injustly. Because he did not commit such sins. They were supposed to to burn whoever done these, one of these sins. But Jesus was not among them. A third method that where they were supposed to kill those who have sinned is by a sword. You will be killed by a sword until you are completely done. This was a method used Exodus chapter 32 verse 27 to 28. Arababwirati, Uwiteka Imana y'Abisirayeli yavuze ngo, "Mwambara inkota and he said to them, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Let every man put his sword on the, his side and go in and out from the entrance to entrance throughout the camp. And let every man kill his brother, every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. So the sons of Levi did according to the word of Moses, and about 3,000 men of the people fell that day. Eh? This was very serious. When was this though? When the Israelites worshipped the golden calf and Moses took all the commandments was given and, and the entire Israel had been called to be the people of God the priest of God but on that day everything changed Moses restrained him, himself and he said those who are on the side of God who are, who are you? on the side of God where are you? where are you? who are you? the Levites his people they drained Moses' side they stood on Moses' side on that day that's when God chose the Levites that they would be representing God among the Israelites when it took place is on the golden calf. The Levites came and God chose them. Same time he chose Aaron. But before that, the entire Israel, God has spoken to them. You are a nation of priests. You are a nation of priests. But from that time, God 
God re- refrain his word himself. Yeah. Moses said, who are on the side of God? Levites drained him. Okay, these are. And from that time to the Levite, they entered to the customs of priesthood and he said now that you're on the side of God God wants to punish everyone Levites put on the sword on your side enter to every and kill every Israelite go from one camp to another tent they killed on that day and 3,000 men and the anger of God was calmed from that day they feared Levites when they see a Levite they will see the sword on them and they will flee Levites were very scary they were the one to slain the cow instantly they will prepare the cow when they saw this Israelites were very scared a third method thank God that you are following me Amen I thank you for following me I thought you were tired Thank, thank God you are not tired. Mm-hmm. The Lord Amen. Amen. The fourth method through strangulation. All these are very terrible days. Being strangled, sword, fire, stones. Nothing is the right way to die. Such days, right. it is now written among the scriptures, but it was added to the law. The way they would do, the, they, they would lift up a person and strangle them. They would do what's called suspension on the tree they will put a rope put around the neck where they are standing on something and they will release it and this is very scary and dangerous and a man life will be taken so through this method they brought out crucifixion but most time they will crucify or they will hang someone who has already been strangled. Remember the baker, the baker of Pharaoh. Remember him. Genesis chapter 40, 19. Azashira, just a read. Dimwe kaviri katatu. Azashira hejuru umutwe wa. Au gukuyeho akumani ke kugiti. Icho yaba nje gukora baba nje kumicha. None wabo na kumani ke kugiti. Ari kuba baba nje kumukura hu mutwe ba ba hu. Kumani ke kugiti rero ba shiraga hoyari pole. On 19, within three days, Pharaoh will lift off your head from you and hang you on a tree. So this was after they had already killed him. They will put him on a pole. And Joshua did it to the kings. And so many people, this method was used. They use these methods. So 
So when did this start and being hung live without going through these four methods? Amabuye. Being stoned. Being burned. A sword. And being strangled. When did the cross come? They will do it in other nations like a Babylon. But during the reign of Romans, the greatest punishment to be given to a person who has sinned in Rome and other provinces of Rome where Rome will control like Israel, Egypt these were all colonies of Romans so everywhere if anyone commits a crime they will be hanged on tree if you get no churufu bamba umundu kumusarama the punishment of a person to be hung on the cross who this will be done to most time it will be done to the, the treason the those who have committed treason or the murderer or the thieves or the one who rebelled against those who rebelled and caused the rebellion among others. Little bit it's mentioned about fornication in the book of Romans. But fornication a person who will not be uh, killed in these methods perhaps, it depends on the one who committed such a If it was done by a Roman or anyone with a, a citizen of Roman, they would punish them lightly. A Roman could not be hanged. But if you are not a Roman, a Gentile, or a slave, most, mostly the slaves, if they had done they had uh, done any forgery something in fake let's say Samson is my master and afford afford to take and sign his signature on the check checkbook in that case Samson if Samson cut me, two reasons, two choices to make by him, either to forgive me, or to be hanged on the tree. But if, if it was done by a Roman citizen, they would be beaten and release them. If they find out that a slave had slept and fornicated with the master or any other person, he will be hanged. But if it's a Roman, they will be beaten. That means a slave. The lesser punishment is to be hanged. And that's why Onesimo. Onesimus after he stole from Philip he fled, he fled from Colossae to Rome. He knew that the next thing he's going to be hanged. But when he got to Rome he committed another crime and he was put to prison. He met Paul there. Paul and Paul preached to him. Arakizgo. He got saved. Arakizgo. And he said, whose slave were you? He said, I was a slave of Philip. A man of, in Colossae. He said, what? 
Firo ni muone ni umwana wanje mugakiza. Ninjye wamubwirije. Philemon. Yeah, Philemon. Philemon is my son. I preached to him. Ninjye wamubyaje ubutumwa. I I preached to him and he got saved. Tino narahunze. So now I fled. Uko bazamanika. Because I knew they were going to hang me. Paul yandika urwandiko rwa Philemon. So Paul wrote to Philemon. Ngo mwana wanje nkunda Say my beloved son. Mkwandiki. I'm writing to you. Kubwira ngo wakire onesi. So that you may receive onesmas. Uwona byaje ubutumwa mu munyururu. Whom I bore uh, through chains. His name Onesimo. Onesimus. Yavuga ngo takamara fite. It means he's worthless. Batari kuyu munsi. But from today Mwohereje afite akamara. I'm sending to you him to you as a Ndakwanditse nje Paul ngutegeka. As as I'm writing to you, Paul commanding to you that you should forgive him and receive him as your brethren. He's no longer a slave. That he's my he's my son. Just like you, Philip, is you are my son. Philip. So when he gets to you, receive him as if you were to welcome me. I'm sending him with this epistle. And if you love money, when I come, I will pay you. When I leave the prison, I will pay you what he did. But I want you to welcome him as my son. This letter, I'm only giving it to Onesimus. He who was worthless to you, but now he's going to be worthless to you, even a time to pray. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. The gospel of Paul changed so much things between the masters and their slaves. When you read Ephesians 5, even the masters, even the masters when he would write to the master, he would say, if you have been saved and you, a slave had been saved, welcome them. Do not oppress them. He brought a revolution in the gospel, the gospel of the cross. Mubaroma, to the Romans, if you take a slave, ukaifata, you take them kuri bank, and take them at the bank ingwate, and you give them as a, a, a security. Kolatero. A collateral. Bank and the bank will give you money. A slave will be a collateral to, to the bank. And then the slave they will be cultivating and the bank will be gaining the interest. So the gospel, the message of cross from God it was a message to the least those who were despised it delivered slaves because they were if even the slaves when, get, when they come to the temple they will express their freedom so he warned them be careful imagine the boss at home he, he, he meant to sit in the front he said the boss Imagine you, they come and they are being served in front in the church by their master because they are in the temple. But Paul warned them that this is too much. Honor your masters. He wrote in Romans, those who deserve honor, honor them. Yeah. 
Every honorable, let them be honored. And The black Americans when they came It got to a point because they were so tired They would get to a underground and sing so their masters can't hear with them Because they were slaves Through the calabasas They will compose some of the hymns that you know Carry me, carry me Carry me and rule Make me your slave, Lord these were the Hallelujah. songs made by the black Americans when they were so tired being slaves they said Lord carry me and rule in my life if you read in your hymns it is written that a song of the blacks or the African Americans. Those who are Who's, Jesus is their master cannot be uh, uh, everybody else Every, and ever somebody has sung I was enslaved by Satan and he never gave me anything except this and that's, he reward, that's how he rewards his people Ya rando koye no neni wen singiza kuko ya bohoye Hallelujah 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 
You cannot understand the gospel. Even a slave has a say. And Paul said, We are preaching the gospel. Christ crucified. Christ crucified. Christ crucified. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. But we were being enslaved by Jesus and he rewarded us eternal life. Praise Jesus. Ooh. Ooh. If a Roman citizen would commit a crime of treason, of treason and they, they learned that he was about to kill the king or the emperor, a Roman you want to kill me they will do something a Roman who committed a sin deserving death a real Roman citizen you are supposed to go through law and court in order for to be judged death there is a law they called Poen and Kulei. 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 Come on. Poen and Kulei. Poen and Kulei. Punishment of the sack. Very good. Poen and Kulei. Poen and Kulei. Jari Tegeko. It was a law. Risubirem. Usubirem. Poen and Kulei. Fuana. It was a law of the sack to a real Roman citizen after they had found him guilty of treason they will take him they will put him in a big sack and they will take three things they will take the cock a good cock they will take a dog and a serpent and the monkey the monkey. These four things. They will put them into the sack with him. Then they will close the sack. And that's a Roman citizen. They cannot dare to hang a Roman citizen. No, a Roman citizen will be hanged. But a slave who forged a signature. Let me show you. Paul said, If God punished the Jews. How about you, the Gentiles? Don't get gra- gra- grafted the branch. They grafted b- a branch. If, if you remember back a tree, let, let, let's say a sycamore tree. And there is a different type of tree branch attached to it. You know if this has happened. And that's why it's called graft. a graft uh, branch. 
Why would a sycamore tree have a different branch of a tree? Cypress. Or cypress tree. Why? Why? It's because a bird It will bring pollen and seed and plant nearby and the tree will grow. And that's what Paul said. Israelites they are like olive and you are that branch and if God did not forgive the olive but he punished it how about you the attached branch Ukonihoye we but it's a Uragan woman is our Kuita. Kukuranga Rebga, when you go to Yakakiza Kamukiwan. Dero had in Yunguzabo Sinzi. Imanan is our Kuita. Kuko Sinzi, Yakuabo, Haba Yakuzuka. Imanan is our America, Kwari Zuba, Kuaru Kwaro Harik, Harum Nijima, Kukumri Africa, Kazu. Iyo Pija, Wabukea Han. Hano Hazaki Jima, Kukangawandi, Wabuna Kazu. Muriki Gihe. Muba yuda haraki jima Tukwa banya mahanga Tuli umucho Ariko Bibili ilafwa ngu mubayu wanya mahanga Numara kuinjira Urugiruga kingu Nguiza agarukira bayuda Kandi yotule wanya mahanga Benshi wa maze Bari hafi kuinjira Urugiru kingu Don't compare the crime The punishment of crime that you have committed Compared to the Jews When the God is about to punish a Gentile versus a Jew He punishes differently You are a Gentile will be more severely compared to the Jews And that's why Paul said to the Gentiles That do not uh, uh, Do not celebrate because the Jews are sleeping Because the time will come When Jesus will come and revive them And the Gentiles when the number is complete Uh Jesus will come and the door will be shut and he will return back to the Jews. Then come read here. Uh, in the case of Pharisee, the special type of capital punishment called Poena Kule, Poena Kule. Uh-huh. punishment of the sack. What what happened? Was employed in which the offender was placed in a leather sack. Nukuwangwako di chahaba mushiraga muisake changwe se mumufu kauruhu. Barangiza. With a rooster, a dog, a snake, a monkey, then throw into the sea. Barangiza wakaja muunyanja wakamohera. Changwe se? A lake or river. Ikiaga, changwe sumogezi. Nuko umuroma ya pfaga wagambai. That's how? Ha muromu ya kumusaraba. That's how a, 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 a Roman who have committed a sin of treason will be killed. They could not hang them on the tr- on the tree. <laughs> Imagine being tied in the same sack with a, a snake and a dog. Poena kule. Poena kule. That was a, a commandment and the law. Why? Every citoyen Roman. A real citizen of Roman. It was an abomination to be crucified. 
Whether you are a noble person or a sinner, but since you are Roman, you cannot face the cross. And that was the message of the Paul. But how can a Messiah be hung? Even a Roman criminal could not be hung. There was a law of Poena Kule that forbids them to be hung on a tree. But how come a Messiah, this God, this righteous, this man of eternity, who has no beginning, or end, who has no father or mother? He is of our eternity. He is a priest on the order of Melchizedek. How can he be hung on the tree? And yet we keep it safe. We the gospel of Christ crucified. How can we keep it? Even that shameful. Musiya wo musiya niho ne Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the cross of shame how come a Messiah be crucified? Nigute Messiah ya bambuga. Yet a criminal of Roman could not be hung. There was a law that he cannot go to a tree. Kumuso ziwa kure hariwi giti gisha jegi sana vichandu ye kandi na nabgo gisha ma yesu yi kore yi jaha jange Aviva banwa kuri chogiti Nihona wane koga kisa Dahawe numuchunguzi wanje Nihona wane kuboka Bihawe nuwanguze na muzi Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Ngokure! Far, there is an old tree. It is not good. But there, my history was changed. What can hinder me from speaking Christ crucified? And that's the gospel of power. But it manifested as weak. Brethren. Romans they brought, they brought the punishment of a Gentiles to be hung and this is why for Jesus to be crucified there must be a scene of a crime of treason Pilate could not find it he slapped him few bits and he said go ahead and hang him but when he said if Caesar learns that I have killed someone who has not committed a sin it, he commanded those who had killed right on top that he is the lord of Jews meaning he is against Caesar because Caesar is the king of our Jews and all Romans this was a crime that he want people to call him the ki- their king that's why on top of the cross there were, were Latin words not Greek then the words was written in, in Latin this is the king of the Jews When Caesar learned this, he, he had been called the king. Oh, he deserved to die. Of course, Agomba Gupfa. But he did not commit any crime. Because Pilate asked him, 
Are you a king? And he said, my kingdom is not of this world. <laughs> Yet they, they lied. Say, so are you a king? But no. He said, no. My kingdom is not of the world. Jesus was not with any blame, any fault. Jesus head to the cross sinless, fruitless. But, but there were spots of lies on him. Oh, he said that he's a king of Jews. And Jews. No, our king is Caesar. Take off those words. And Pilate said, I know what I've done. <laughs> I know what I have done. No, we don't want those words. He's not our king. Caesar is our king. Caesar is our king. They, kept, they silenced them because I know what I have done. Amen. 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 The cross. It is the worst thing that has happened. Worse. The worst thing that has happened. First book of Corinthians. Chapter 1 verse 18. Are we together? When Paul started the ministry preaching around the world, he learned that the message of cross was so much challenged. And he told them the message of the cross is a foolishness to those to those who are paid. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. The message of the cross is a foolishness to those who are perishing. Because when you tell them that the Messiah was hanged on the cross, they call you a fool. So those who do not so believe Messiah that Messiah was crucified. To them, the message is a foolishness. The word. For it is written on 19, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. He was centre, centre. Centre, yeah, 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 philosophy. He was uh, preaching to the Greeks. This was the center of all the philosophers. The book of Corinthians is a book to the Greeks. The time of Paul, Greek, Greek, Greek. Greek had a Greek the northern was Macedonia, the southern was Achaia. In the, in the north, in the southern of Achaia. No, 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 Athenia, Athen. There was a Corinth and Athens. Mumajarugu. And then no, you are the Philippine Thessalonica. Philippa and Thessalonica. So this part, Paul preached the gospel. But there, it was a great, there was a great resistance. In Athens, a great resistance came from end. So when I went to the Corinthians, I did not go with my philosophy. I, I did not go with the word of God. Because there are very well spoken and but, but I brought the thesis of the cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My thesis was the cross. And that's who I developed. Among the wise, what they call foolishness. But God has spoken. But he showed me the wise. 
If you use your foolishness, I will use my foolishness so I can challenge the wisdom. In my thesis, Paul, when I got to Corinthians, I planned to speak nothing else. Only Christ crucified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I purposely planned to not preach anything. Only crucified Christ. He was speaking to powerful great men. In Athens, when he started to preach, said Paul, you study. We'll give you four intellectuals. We'll take you in Arrow Park. Go and speak to us. This was a, a hill on top of Athens. 2015, I went and sat on that hill where Paul was sitting. You are actually watching or seeing the Athens. It is a hill made only for the uh, the philosopher of Athens. So let's talk with you, Paul. They say us. We give you two people. One. One. The first. His name is Dionysius. Second. It's a philosopher woman called Damar. These two. They will convince you. They brought you. Watching their debate between oh. Damar and Dim- uh, Dimitius. Dionysius. 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 Paul sat. The first thesis he had. He stood on that hill. So I went around the city of Athens and they were all idols. I went around but I saw a place where it was written an altar of the unknown God. Men and women who are here. I want to start with the, the theme of the God, the unknown God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the ancient times, everyone came the from one. And he was just going around. All nations and all tongues. And, and all carried on. They lived. And God gave portions. And where people must live. He put in borders for people. Then everyone. He allowed them at a certain time. They will be laid by their ignorance. They start looking for truth wandering everywhere. But they could not find the truth. And that's what you have written the unknown God. And that's the truth you do not know. But you are one, you are almost to hey, hallelujah. hallelujah. He carried on with his speech. And the battle was the debate was in a briefly Dionysius stood up. Say so, hey, all the judges who are here, the member of the court. I support what hey, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Akirangiza. As he was concluding, the man was among the debate. Say so, women who are here and men. You know that I've stu- I've have studied everything. I am a teacher who came. From Socrates. And even the great father of art stood. Even today, as you see me, I grew up on the feet of Plato. The good news to you, no other philosopher like Paul. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! On that day, Damar and Dionysius, they got saved, he baptized them. Dionysius was a bishop of Athens. No, you must get the mobile key. Athens had a rusengro. What Damar and Dionysius? Dionysius and Damar became bishop of the the, the church in in Athens. Even today, when you go, you will find it. I went in it. It's not a a, church, a temple based on wisdom. It is of the foolishness of the cross. Amen. Amen. Ah. 
hanyuma pora arareka kuri 20 ngo mbese none umunyabwengari and Paul said, where is the wise? Where is the mar? Where is the initials? Those describers, where are you now? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And those who were questioning, where is the disputer of this age? Imana Diabuhinduye Iki Ubufu. Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Amen. On verse 21. He carried on saying. Listen, listen. Ngubwe nge bw'Imana bwashyizeho rules and regulation kutazakoresha ubwe nge bwawe rezonema logique ngumenye Imana. Ibyo byakozwe n'ubwe nge bw'Imana. Ubwe nge bw'Imana bwategetse ko utazamenya Imana mu mibari. Ubwe nge bw'Imana bwategetse ko utazamenya Imana muri logique. Ubwe nge bw'Imana bwategetse ko utazamenya Imana ukorejeza karikire no. Turabyumvikanye. Ngo ahubwo ubwenge bwima ngo yishimiye gukirisha abayizera ubufugwike bw'ibigospel ubufu bw'ibigospel ubufu bw'ibibwiriza ibi turimo tuvuga ibi bipfunyine mubona niruka ngagaruka icyo yakikarenga kwango ari kuri ya mugabo kwa rakorera iki ko ni ibinyine nibi ibipfu by'ibi bintu byo bubwirizwa nibyo bituma abantu bamenya imana amen haleluya 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 amen amen on verse 21 for since in the wisdom of god the world through wisdom did not know god it pleased god through the foolishness of the message Preach to save those who believe. When he got there, he split the two worlds on verse 22. The world of the Jews and of the Greeks, which is the Gentiles. The Yunan. The Greeks. The Greeks and Jews. So uh, on about Jesus on the things of Jesus behold the Jews they look for a sign and for the for Jesus they look for a sign for Jesus so the Jews, they want to request a sign. To, they want to see Jesus, the Messiah, the great man who comes and all the Romans trembles and fall down. They want a sign. Jewish people request a sign. Jewish request a sign. To prove. Prove to us. Jump so we can see. Manuka hasi. Jump on the roof so we can see. Rise up and have the heaven shake. That's the type of Messiah we are looking for. No. But don't tell us that he came and died. For the Jews, they request a sign. And you Greeks, you seek after wisdom. In Greek, it's Sophia. Sophia. Wisdom is Sophia. That's where the word philosophy came Philosophia. from. Philosophia. Philosophia. The wisdom. Sophia is wisdom. The Greek request after wisdom. Sophia. Cartesian. Donc, so numbers 
one plus one is two. Three plus three is six. Eight, eight is sixteen. We, we do chura, do Don't try to take us around. Just prove to us that he is the leader. Just do the math and prove to us. Prove to us. And that's the same they ask Socrates that prove to us. Kugira ngo ba prove. So he could prove to them. He used two methods, iron and mythic. 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 Iron. Iron. If they would want truth from Socrates, he would not answer to my question. He will answer you through questioning you. The method, ironic method, that was a philosophy of Socrates. No, no, Samson, no, no, but no, no, we won't get so easy. Ukoni kuri washaka. Doc, ni zoba shaka ngona ba bwiri bza Yesu ba jamu ni zameto de zaba Socrates. Hari karaba bwe ati jame. Kuba yuda mura shaki menyetsu. Nama ba giri kimo shaki ki ubenge. So to Socrates, when you question him, he will answer you by no, questioning no, you. No, no, Yeah, he will answer you by questioning you to a point when you give the answer. That's why they will call it. Uh, ironic method so they wanted to do the same method when Paul was preaching but he said no to you Jews you request a sign and the Greeks you are looking after wisdom I'm about to finish but let's read everybody chapter verse, verse 23 that's the sign of our message today Jews request a sign and the Greeks seek after Christ. Jesus. For Jews request a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified. To the Jews, yeah, the Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. No, no, no. Go 23. 23. But we preach Christ crucified to the Jews, a stumbling block, and to the Greeks, a foolishness. Uh huh. 24. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. To the Jews, Jesus is a stumbling block. But to the Greeks, is a foolishness. Because of Greeks' mentality, our a, a school, modern school. Donc, our modern schools. The roots come from Greeks. Mpamvu, and that's why all intellectuals fight against God. Except those like you who studied but you know and love Jesus. To you, the Gentiles, Christ is the power of God. But to the gent- to everybody else, when you have been said, you know the first, first thing pre- people do? Are you also gone mad? Ah. 24, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, Papa. Are you also gone mad? Nikigush. Iyo bwiye Yesu ki umuyuda ndabazi benshi tutangira kumubwira akagwira ngo please ngo mbabara ndi dukore kuri yo sije ahita bikubuza nawe kumugira ikiwe ngo mugendiye mwarasaze mu mitwe ntibavuga ko twasaze nubupfu tudenka abantu batazi imana abanyabwe ngo bayinterektuere babona ko ibituri mwa rubupfu siko bigenda ntibamaze kubita abapfunama ntababwira ngo ariko nawe warasaze 
Mumugawanja, I can go Francine. To the Jews, Jesus is a stumbling block, and to the Greeks, it is a foolishness. But to us who know God is the power of God. No. Jew, Jews, a stumbling, stumbling block. block yes. Greeks, and foolishness. to the, to the Greek, Greeks, foolishness. foolishness. Nuhura no mundu ukubira ngo warasaze hitume nyakwaru mugiriki. If you meet someone and tells you you have gone mad, immediately know they are Greeks. Abandi abanyamahanga twebwe uzarebe nta muntu bya Yesu bigusha bahita bumva gusa kuri umusazi. Abayuda niwe bigusha ariko abandi turabasa. Ndi muri bamwe se mwicyaha. Kuba nyabyaha bo hanze bize turabasazi twese tura. Everybody else when he speaks things of God like a Jew you it is a stumbling block but to us you will never see anyone being offended because you are mentioning in fact you will be called a crazy person as you know they, we are all crazy according to them So if we are serious in questioning each other Are we really crazy people Have we lost our minds <laughs> It is impossible for a crazy person to recognize that they have gone mad. Have you ever seen a mad person say they have they are mad? A mad person was carrying clothes on the head. And met another crazy person who, were, who was naked. And called his wife. My wife. So that crazy he's, causing, he's putting every man to shame yet he too was carrying his own clothes naked say so what a shame this is the typical crazy he's, he's, caused, he's bringing shame to everyone and the doctor who was treating crazy people, mad people, treated them. He thought they were healed. He took them to an empty pool. <laughs> he said, jump and swim. One jumped and, and jumped and fell in the pool, empty pool. The doctor said, This one who stayed is healed. So, why aren't you swimming? He said, I cannot go into the cold water. So I cannot swim in a cold water. <laughs> and the psychiatrist was like, Unbelievable. I thought the one who stayed is healed. <laughs> and that's how the people of the world see us, the believers. <laughs> they think we are crazy. But we have the wisdom of God. Amen. 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 We have the wisdom, the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have the wisdom of God. One day I sat with a man in the plane, on the plane. He was a college professor. He was sitting across from me. 
We were heading to Africa in Rwanda together. And, and he was a great pro college professor. He was a, a university professor. And after the plane took off, he came and greeted me. He said, aren't you Gitwaza? I said, yes, it's me. You say, I'm a professor, so? I was like, I was like okay, it's you. Thank you. And he said, you know, my wife and our children, they come to your church sometimes. And if I don't bother you, I would like us to talk for a moment. This was an eight hour flight. And I was very tired thinking that I would have time to rest. If a professor doesn't call you a mad person, I would give up my sleep for his time. He came and sat next to me. And I said, I will join you there. He said, no. He had a glass of wine. He said, I would like to ask you three things. He's the first question, do you know the people who come to your church? I said no. I know some, not everyone who comes. I said, okay. Number two. Please <laughs> reveal to me the power that you have to attract people. How can you brainwash everyone and follow you? What's your, what is your foundation? And number three? Are the things that you preach to your people real? That are the things with foundation. And I told him, your questions are very complex. But what I know, I preach to them Christ, Jesus. And I remember the word of, of Paul. That I purposely plan to speak nothing else but Christ. If I, if I use all the wisdom and philosophy, he, uh, he may challenge me, but I know Jesus will convince him. And when I speak Jesus, he laughed at me. <laughs> he said the white Jew young man even his own people rejected him that some people you are troubling with women don't sleep, children don't sleep and he, he talked as, we were, as he was talking his spirit changed but I felt in me calmness because your difference is the resistance in your heart. He has no the, the fruits of the spirit but you do. His words as he speaks they will be they were to provoke me. His words they were, they were words of provoking me. But I felt the Holy Spirit giving me stillness. 
I carried on speaking Jesus. When he speak, I refer myself back to Christ. His words, I refer back to Christ. We're in on our conversation in the middle. And he said, this is the second year. I have thought and followed I followed all your teachings because I could not bear to allow my wife and the children to go and learn things that I'm unaware I followed you now please bear with me tell me where did you get all this wisdom where did you get this wisdom from I asked him, which wisdom are you talking about? He said, no, but the thing that you talk. I have realized that you are not fool, a fool. But what shocks me? <laughs> For two hours I've been talking to you and all that you can say is Jesus. Then we are not say. And I ask him, Jesus is the center of our life. What else can I say? And he said to me, Let us go away. I'll go back to my seat. But on Sunday, are you going to be there? I will come. On Sunday, I will join you. On that Sunday, he didn't come. But he sent a message that I have a business. But when I come back, I will join you on the church. The following Sunday, he said, I'm driving my wife, my children, and we are coming. As I speak to you, He has become a foolish just like me. He became a foolish just like me. Although they laugh at you, they need to be like you. I've seen it through authentic radio. If there is a technical errors and goes off, I will get phone calls without knowing where they are coming from. How are you, Gitwaz? How are you, Gitwaza? What happened to your radio? <laughs> I'll be like, what? What happened to the radio? What? By the way, you need me to see that. It's been three days, by the way, without having radio working. I was like, are you talking about... And he said, of course. No emotions. Yes, of course, it's an authentic radio. If you need any assistance, let us know so we can help you by have the radio work. Before he ends, by one particular really shocked me from one of the great religion he called me <laughs> he called me the prophet he called me how are you prophet I am so and so and I told him please I'm not a prophet we don't have a prophet he said, please forgive me. If you have a problem, and he said, if you have problem with your radio, please tell me, I will help you. And this man was a very powerful religious leader. Another powerful man. He is very educated and he is in good political leadership. He holds high position, sorry. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Text a message. I got a text message. We just saw in a twemere was at Sanga Kuri office to Vuka. So please allow us and receive us at, at, at tomorrow at ten. Sinari Fituma. I didn't have time. Arko Kubera to Gumba Kubaha Abuba. Because we are to honor those who are honorable. I change all my schedule. 9.45, I had already reached the place. At the office. The secretary welcomed me. And I entered. And I was wondering, why am I here? And briefly, I was welcomed into the office. When I entered the office, a man came. He greeted me. He hugged me. And then he greeted me respectfully with hand holding the other arm. <laughs> and I got lost in, in the moment because I wasn't ready for all this. Then I sat down and after sitting he turned on his computer. He opened all, the te- all my teachings and he said first of all it wasn't easy for me to go where you were but thank you for coming here. This is how I live by your teachings. Mm. I was like, what? Is it true? And he said, My wife started it. All the time you find Mary Magdalene starting. And to be honest with you, <laughs> I neither hated you or liked you. You meant nothing really to me. But when I enter, my wife is on, you are on the TV, my wife had turned it on or radio. But one day I said, what is this that my wife is always listening to? So I asked some of your of videos. He had CDs and DVDs. And now it's time of YouTube. He had to play, he had to play YouTube videos. And he said, the reason why I called you here is to thank you that she built my life and the life of my family. I have gone through tough times here at work. But if I had not had these teachings, I don't know where I would be today. But today, wherever I may go whether good or bad I want you to know that I have been saved people I could not thought, I could not think that he would be saved and even when he is in public he doesn't speak well of us he doesn't speak well of the people of God or the church he said do not be shocked I am saved and I know this the only thing that remains is to have the boldness to go public and say it please pray for that boldness the message of the cross uh, goes in 
The message of foolishness goes in secretly. Turi hano twese koko twigishijwe ibibwiriza byo bupfapfa. You are, we are all here because we have been taught the message of foolishness. No other message to be proclaimed is the crucified Christ. To the Greeks is foolishness. To the Jews is a stumbling block. And today Go and declare this message. Go and speak to the people this message. And speak to, of things of Jesus. Tell people about Jesus. You have been called. You have been called to preach the gospel, the message of Christ. You have been called. You have been called. You have been called. You have been called. Amen. Amen. There is a message you need to spread. The message of the cross. I want time, I want time ago I went to visit. I had just got married. I went to visit one of the presidents in one country. And in the evening, in the morning, where they were hosting me, they gave me a message. It was in the, in, the mid, in the middle of the night at midnight. On a telephone. I got a phone call that tomorrow at nine in the morning you will be received by a president but at his place, in his house. It had only been a few months. I don't know if it was, we were in two a year after marriage. I went, I went and by nine I was at his house. Of course, Oh, they came to get me. They did not control me. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> I did not even I did not even have a suit. Someone uh, lent me a suit and it was very tight. I could not button it. It was a very skinny man. And I was still a very young man. When I put it on, <laughs> my shoulders were tight. <laughs> so I could not button it because it was too but small. Very protocol, but since that was a protocol, I had to have it. So when I got there, I found that he just left. But he, sp- he told his wife, stay with the man of God 
ndibuze haba urgence yihuta bituma cyo kugenda kuri I will come back right away there was an emergency he had to attend nirigwanye na madame so i spent the day with his wife kuva saa 3 from 9 kugera saa 10 nini to 5 pm turaganira we talked turasengana we prayed turasangira and we shared turamenyerana and we got to, uh, familiar with each other donc mubwira <laughs> I share the, full, the message of foolishness. We, we prayed. She, got, she received Jesus and that's how the day was spent. And in the evening, the husband came. As he was coming, I don't know where the wife had gone. And was, I was sitting outside the balcony. It was around 5 p.m. The president came. And this was a very welcoming day. He asked me which language I'm comfortable. He speaks different languages. And I want you to be comfortable. He was he was telling me as he was approaching me. Speaking to me, young man, young man. Which language? French, French, English, or any other? I chose the one that I was more comfortable with. He came. When he got to me, I stood up in all the honor. Go, no. He said, no. He hugged me tightly. <laughs> and I was much comfortable around him. He made me comfortable first. And after I was comfortable, he sat. He crossed his legs. And his guards, he said, bring me the, the magazines. They brought the newsletters. The servers came, what do you want to drink? They asked me everything. And I said, but I have already eaten. And he said, please take something. Even I will take something. By honoring, I took the same as he was drinking. So we sat. He put all the magazines next to us. And he said, why are you here? And I said, I've come to preach to you to be saved. And that was the message I had. He said, what? Yes, I have come to preach so you may be saved. Say what? I have come to preach so you can be saved. And he said, it's been almost 50 years in my life. I've never heard anyone saying that he wants me to be saved. But now, since you have requested, I will do it. Immediately there, and this was too quick it was too quick for me before I could even mention any scripture and he said that's it he asked me how do I get saved I say you have to kneel down okay and he said, okay, he knelt down. And the bodyguard were watching me. They, but they are very disciplined. When they saw it, they turn around. They turn, they... I don't know if there are other watching from afar, but the ones who were closer to us turned their back to us, against us. I prayed for him. And I told him to repeat after me. I, I, I so and so. He repeat his name. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I have received Jesus. So he repented. After he received. I say I'm about to pray for you. And he said, how do I hold myself? Do I hold my heart? 
I said, no. Just be free. Actually, <laughs> I could not tell him to lift up his hands because I thought it was too much. Remember the scripture of the slaves to honor their masters. I laid my hand on his head. As I laid my hand, he collapsed and fell. <laughs> Imagine what, what a scenario there. I didn't believe him. Amen. I got troubled when he fell, but I heard a word, a word say that I did not give you spirit of fear, but spirit of boldness. I got the boldness back into Musanga me. I went to where he was laying. I prayed. I cut all the curses, Imiuka. all the spirits, Imifumo. all the curses, and I was much strengthened and I prayed. Thank you. And then, I heard a voice hold his hand and have him up. His hand was full of hair. And he was wearing safari. Oh, short sleeves clothes. I lift him up. And he got up. I stopped. I I got scared. <laughs> and I start, I start praying out, God, please don't let him ask me any question. Let all be He didn't ask me anything, of course. Then, he said, thank you. Thank you. I was so much depressed and now I'm peaceful. I believe that God truly sent you here. I was very tired. But all the weight that was on me fell off. Then he told me, Come. We went. Sorry. He had an open tent that had a uh, garage that had many new cars. About about 15 new cars. Brand new. They had just come. And he, he told me to choose any. I said, What? No. But he said, no, choose one. I again said, no. But he said, why? I can't, he said. That's not why I'm here. I had come to preach so you may be saved. Not to get a car from you. But okay. He said, okay. So let's go back. We sat down. I'm going to request one thing from you. Come and go with him. We went behind his house. The car was on the house was on the hill. So we could see the view down. And he told me, see the house. It has many apartments in it. The building now belongs to you. It is yours. It is not mine. But I know the owner. And he wants to sell it. I will buy it for you. Just allow me. As long as you stay here, you will not be hungry, you will not lack anything, just mentor me. And I said to him, no. I have been called for all nations. I cannot live in that building, that apartment, and be able to serve God. He said, that's so. I said yes. He said okay. But in your culture, you love cows. I will give you a cow. I said no. And he looked at me. He asked me. Young man. 
Ufiti miaka ngapi? How old are you? Mubira ufiti miaka 28 And I said I'm 28 years old. Iki? Say what? 28 Ararira. And he cried. Akuramo mushware. He took out his handkerchief. Arihana. And he wiped his eyes. And he said, "Ndahari." <coughs> Say, "I am here." Don't worry. Go home in peace. Anything you ever need. Anything you ever need in your life. That I'm still able. I will get it for you. And the voice said, "Don't take it." because I'm enough for you. I said to him, I won't need anything. I told him I will not need anything from you. Say why? Because Jesus is sufficient. And from that day, he came off the leadership but he continued to be an honorable man every time he would invite us uh, invite me or send a message to me or if he sees someone who's who knows me he will send he would send a message please greet ngo uwa mu pastor ukomeye w'umuhotandi convey my greetings to the the great authentic pastor That, those were his message and next time he lost his mother and when his mother died I wasn't there but, but I learned the newsletter and when I heard of it the person who was there who told me the ministers were there other great men were there they came to the mother's funeral and a young man who was there they came from the same village with the president he prayed when he started to pray the intellectuals were there the ministers they start laughing at the young man who was praying Amen. When he said amen, critique, critique, critique. they start criticizing him. Oh, things, of things, of things of the believers, things of Christians. You know how they insult us? Then he, he silenced them all. They thought they were pleasing him. And he told them, let me tell you. These things are not for the weak. This is for the powerful people. For the great. This is for this is not for the simple. But for the great. Ngutemezanya nisengesho nikibwiriza cyuriya amvire mu kiriyo. If you are not into agreement with the prayer or the word from this man. Bose ngo chenge. Everyone kept quiet. Uzi cyari cyarabaye. Do you know what had happened? Yahuye nibibwiriza by'ubuntu. He had encountered message of foolishness. Although many don't speak, although some many don't show, do not keep quiet from uh, the message of Christ when the time comes. They will testify in your absence. Do not stop preaching Jesus. Even the first time they may ignore you, they don't care. But next time they'll say please repeat again. But if they, even if they don't tell you in their bedrooms they will Do not get tired of sowing your seed. Sow in the morning. Sow in the midday. Sow in the evening. You don't know which one will grow. As I conclude, brethren. As I conclude, people of God. And I will pray with you. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. Amen. Amen. The foolishness of God is wiser than men. The weakness of God is stronger than men.
Mă rog că tu se gimă. Please rise so we can pray together. Și mai ies. Be praised Jesus. Și mai ies. Be praised Jesus. Da și mu mu saraba. Da și ma yam vaziza. Hariko chane chane. Da și ma umani Yesu. Da și ma Dashimu musarawa Dashima yamvaziza Hariko chane chane Dashima umami Yesu Hallelujah Hallelujah Uwo musaraba tukomera mashi menshi cha. Let's give a round of applause to the cross. Dushimiri yomva yatu ikomera mashi cha. Thank the grave. Ariko chane chane. But above four. Uwa uba mbreho. The one was crucified. Uwinjie muri yomva. The one who entered the grave. Akaiso come up. And came out. Tumungera mashi ni bunu nyi chicha. Let's give him a round of applause. Amen. Girunge te winjire. Mumara soya Yesu uzashira kwinenge mumuti mawandu dashima dashimu dashimu musaraba wa Yesu dashima oya banziza Chane chane Dashima Ungami Yesu Dashima Dashimu Usaraba Wa Yesu Dashima Mana tulashimu musaraba wa Yesu Tulashimu musaraba wa Yikalvari Awi mza hafza achu mza geni Awi kuwa hoka kwa achu kwa ajdi Ahi nguaraza achu za soki Leka muri yumu goroba Umutumu abu musaraba Kristo waba ambre Ukuri mitanga za Umuzima abu abandu Uwa hindu wa mateka Wish is a Murundi way. Usher them into another level. Wish in the name of Jesus. King Guri Mirjango. Open doors. King Guri Nzira. Open doors. Yaga Kiza. Of salvation. Abatara Kumenya. Those who are yet to know you. So they may know you. Abatara Kizwa. Those who are yet to be saved. To be saved. Wish in the name of Jesus. Wish in the name of Jesus. Wish in the name of Jesus. King Guri Mirjango. Make a way. King Guri Mirjango. Open the doors. King Guri Mirjango. Open the doors. Oh yes, oh Jesus, oh yes, oh Jesus. Bless your children. Bless your people. Support your children. So they may preach the gospel of Christ crucified. The cross of Shem. The good gospel of the weaker to bring strength in them. Like this evening, the heart that were tired to be strengthened. The, the hearts are weary to be raised the heart are tired to be strong the heart that are sick to be healed the bodies that are sick to be healed that your miracle take and bless the, the yoke to go away the doors to be open let the yoke be broken in Jesus name your miracles manifest your power in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Kora work Kora work Kora work Kora work Kora work 
Mwami Yesu. Wewe mgoroba wao. This is your evening. Wewe mitangaza ni mimi. This is a miracle. Hebu itorero. Restore the church. Hebu rabana bawe. Restore your children. Garuru mzutse. Bring revival. Uzuzi mpano. Feel gifts in them. Ongaru muri kirimitima. Shine in the hearts. Uzuza mafuta umutima. Pour your anointing in the hearts. Amafuta umatabaza. Anointing in the lungs. Ibi chana nzongere zake. Tell us to be fire again. Umuzuku garagare. Revive resurrection to manifest. Imbaraga zumuzuko. Sisuri mzafu ye. Sikara kari mgorova. Mubang abimbana. Among the children of God. Do be touched. Hinduka. Be transformed. Mahoka. Be delivered. In the name of Jesus. Akiri mitanga za zawe. Receive your miracles. Akiri mbaraka za zawe. Receive your power. Akiri ugiza bawe. Receive your glory. Hindri kwa mateka. May your history be changed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hinduka. Be transformed. Hindukira. Be transformed. Be touched. In the name of Jesus. Let the power of a resurrection touch you. Let it touch you. Let the water change. Let the water change. We pour every chunk of sima. Let it fall into the pool. Let the miracle take place. Let the miracle take place. Let the miracle take place. In the name of Jesus. Let the fire be lit. Let the fire be lit. Let the fire be lit. In your life. Let the rain come. Let the water be healed. Hey, Jesus. Bring your righteousness in the heart of the people. Bring the rain of revival. Bring the rain of revival. Bring revival in our families, in our wives, in our husbands, in our children. Share the history. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Wachari waundi. You are the same. Kuvesho. From yesterday. Uyumusi. Today. Nezo wazaza. And tomorrow. Kuhinduka. You never change. Ama teka na hinduka. Your history never change. Isha marja wendi ni hinduka. Your world doesn't change. Ibi tanga za wazawa ni zabi. Your miracles are the same. Ibi baraka za wazawa ni zabi. Your powers are the same. Ura chakora. You are still walking. 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 Ura chakora. Change many to know you. Umuriro wawe. Let your fire. Ukoe shemenchi. Use many. Wakonge zehije no hino. Send my light and around the world. Imbara kazumum zuzi. That's the power of revival. Imbara kazumum zuzi. The power of revival. Zikera mumsu mbaza. Come into our rooms. Mumariria. Come into our beds. Mubana ba. Come into our children. Mubatu baka. Come into our spouses. We tore it all down. Come into our church. Mugi ugucha. Come into our nation. We shanga ya. Come into our nation. Mugu kwa ne wa. Hallelujah. 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 Nishekaya. Hallelujah. Rakani ya baba sira. Rise se ya ba. Briko ski shekaya. Ne kondiri ya baba se. Briko kita ya. Le kongli ya baba la koka. Jike sisi ya ba. Deko se ya. Hii 
Yesu we. Yes, we. Hallelujah. It's the message of the cross. It's the message of the cross. It is the part to the Miracle to us. Your power. At the cross. Yes, Lord.
Come forward if you still want Jesus we to revive your life and you know. feel you feel that you backslide somehow in your life. Come, there's a revival here. Hallelujah. But there is a power of restoration. A power of restoration. The power of the cross. Come forward. Come closer. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Nina Usifu Sana. In the moment past, I saw a river here. There were seven fountains, one from there all the way. There. And, and the water was being poured out. And I saw people coming. And they were being sanctified, cleansed. In the water. I thank God that you have come here. There are fountains here. There is a fountain here. There is a cleansing your weakness. There is a cleansing your weakness. There is cleansing your sin. There is a cleansing your tightness. There is a source. There is a river. You are now returning as you came. The cross of Christ. That's what I'm proud of. Until the day I will cross on the other side. What a blessings you have. Amen. All the dirty marks that were put on you, there is a river that is cleansing you. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
Mami Yesu. Lord Jesus. Banyanya gize wa amazi yawe. Sprint your water on them. Amazi yosa. The cleansing water. Amaza kura winte genge. The water that removes the weaknesses. Amazi. The water. Basuke wa amazi. Pour your water on them. Basuke wa amazi. Pour your water on them. Cleanse their sins and weaknesses in the name of Jesus. The power of the cross. Come and pierce in the heart. Come and claim the all the dirty the past. Days. All your weaknesses in the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, receive your deliverance. Be strengthened. The spirit of prayer come in you. The spirit of worship come in you. The spirit of preaching come in you. The spirit of, in you. The spirit of passion and zeal of the house of God. In the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus. Gwino kwiso konga rinziza Chabu gufi wa mutindiwe Jaku wire gebju mukiza Agutu kane Harisoko hano gwino kwiso Quiso con Ziza Chau Gufi Wamuti Diwe Jaku Ire Gedu Kiza You are standing at his feet. You are on his feet. Come to Isoko. Come to the river. Oga. Swim. Oga. Be streaming it. Oga. And be delivered. Kira. Be healed. Be touched. Humanuka. Be cleansed. In the name of Jesus. Repeat. Thank you, Jesus. You have restored me. I am healed. I am rested. Today, it shall never be forgotten in my life. Amen. Amen. A shout of a joy and a round of applause to Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah! You may go back to your seats. We no quiso kongari tiza chau gufi wa muti niwe we kumirenge tu mukiza akutu ga. Soko, we know Christo Kongari Ziza Chabu Kufi Wamuti Diwe Chaku Rege Jumu Kisa Hallelujah Agu Tunga Yesu Mami Yesu Mama He Baswe Izi Na De Kyo Keswe Hallelujah, 
Que 